words that might make you smile. Dine, dance, and donate. Neighbor to Neighbor Lifeline is gearing up for a very special event that provides hot meals and brings comfort to those struggling to make ends meet. Here to share more on how you and I can help and chip in, please welcome Scott Roth, who is the executive chef of Pine Orchard Yacht and Country Club, and Heather Calabrese, who's Chief Operating Officer for United Way of Greater New Haven. Welcome to the both of you. Thank you very much. Thanks for being it's here. Nice to be here. Okay, we want to get it right out of the way. What are we going to be making, Chef? What are, what are you teaching us today? Chicken Gorgonzola. Ooh, sounds really delicious. Uh, you nice, excited rich about it? dish that they are eating uh, on the evening of their event. I like that. Speaking of the event, Heather, let's kind of fill people in about Neighbor to Neighbor. Not everyone knows what you do, but your, your philosophy is really great. Well, Neighbor to Neighbor is a partnership between the Jewish Federation of Greater New Haven and United Way of Greater New Haven. It's to bring attention and dollars to hunger and homelessness throughout our region. Mm -hmm. And Saturday night, we're focusing on the shoreline. With lots of hunger and homelessness on the shoreline. And you have amazing goals. You, you talked about reaching, or your goal every year is a million bucks. Right. But there are so many people that are really homeless on the shoreline, and, and sometimes we we don't hear about that. We don't. We're working with the community dining room. They're our partner on Saturday night for Dine, Dance, and Donate. They've seen a 25% increase in wow. need and lots and lots of families who may not show up homeless or may not show up vulnerable for homeless and lots of people who are hungry. We're funding a, a family takeout meal program and a family night at Community Dining Room. It's their 25th anniversary, and they do amazing work, uh -huh. not just in Brantford, but for people across the shoreline. That's good to know. Let's get, let's, let's get started. Okay, now, Chef, start with us with the chicken, because this is really important. We want good, great, skinless chicken, right? Correct. Okay. So Only what do we skinless. do first? Uh, we are going to saute it or franchise it, which really is just flour, eggs, and seared in olive oil. Okay, work us through it. Show us That'll how to do it. That'll be the first step. Okay. So we're going to turn it over a into simple the flour. simple dredge, yep. Okay. Dip it in. Is that egg? Straight eggs. Okay. Nothing else in there. So how many eggs would you recommend? If you wanted to make this at home, what would we need? Depending on how much you're making it for. Uh, okay. Obviously, that's far more than we need. Uh, okay. For a... Uh, don't for say far more because you don't want me as your sous chef now. Trust <laughs> for me. For four people at home, uh, two eggs would be fine. Okay, two eggs would be fine. Since I don't want to touch with my fingers, but I want to give you a hand. Okay. Do I pull it out and put it in the pan? Correct. Okay. And this has what in it? Olive oil? Just olive oil. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Look at there. Well, I don't know. You <laughs> might think twice about having me be your sous chef. <laughs> All right. There we go. Okay, so let's talk about the other ingredients you brought because I know, Heather, this is one of the items or one of the meals you're going to be serving right. at the event. Right. Uh, Betty Ann Donegan and her husband, uh, John, are doing a, a VIP uh, cocktail party before the event. I know Betty Ann's a friend of this show. Yes, she She's is. She's on a lot. She's going to do a wonderful uh, cocktail party, and all of the proceeds from uh, that cocktail party benefit community dining room and the Shoreline Neighbor to Neighbor efforts. And then we moved to uh, Pine Orchard at 7 o'clock for a wonderful uh, dinner and a silent auction and a live auction. We're having a sommelier there teaching us about wines ah. during dinner, and then we're going to burn up the dance floor. I love that. All right, yeah. Chef Scott, let's fast forward. Okay, so we would cook this for a little while. What would we be looking for, though? How should it look when it's finished? The chicken. It actually should look like this. We have a finished, uh, these are three pieces of already seared chicken. We're okay. looking for just a nice golden brown color. Okay, perfect. And now you make a special sauce. Can we start with the sauce and walk us through the ingredients we need for that? All right. So we'll leave that there, and we'll come over here. What did you bring with you? Well, the sauce is a uh it starts off with shallots okay splash of wine let's go for that go ahead and let's start go. us off yep perfect i'll have you demo that for us a uh, little bit of fresh butter okay helps brown off the shallots oh okay and then what are we going to add i have a little chardonnay but any kind of white wine that you have at home would be fine and if you're heavy-handed we love you even more yeah <laughs> okay that is correct more is good more, right. is, more is better. That is right. You tell him, Heather. I'm glad it's coming from you. See, I'm not the only one, everybody. All right. Now what will we add to that? Now, besides the wine, the other liquid in the sauce is a touch of cream. Just a touch. Well, okay. touch is a relative term. I like that. You're my kind of guy, Chef. <laughs> All right. Good. There we go. And then where are we going? Because you brought a lot of stuff with you. Well, I brought a little extra stuff. Okay. The dish that's going to be served on Saturday night is... Okay. Uh, wilted spinach, roasted peppers, and gorgonzola. Okay, can we add that now and yes, show our folks can. at home what that will look like? Okay, so we want to wilt the spinach there. Yep. Okay. Which it'll do in the simmering uh, wine and cream. And Chef, that doesn't take long to wilt, though. Seconds. Okay. Uh, depending on how hot your, your sauce is. Okay, perfect. The roasted pepper is for uh, color and a different texture. Oh, I like that ad. Okay. And what's the gorgonzola going to do? I mean, what kind of flavor are we going for? Everything. Uh, Everything. Look at him, he's well, smiling. He's like, guys, don't you know cheese does it all? Correct. Uh, okay. The gorgonzola, you know, it is what it is. It's a 
delicious, uh, adds more of a creamy texture to the sauce. Do we want to put it in? Oh, we're cooking with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay, so let me, let me do this. While you're adding that, I want to put the information on the screen for folks to know a little bit more about how they can get their tickets, Heather, because tickets are still available. They are. Okay, so Neighbor to Neighbor, Lifeline, and Community Dining Room, everyone, at Pine Orchard Yacht Club in Brantford, April 10th at 7 p.m. That's the time for the Dine, Dance, and Donate. If you missed that information or neither number is on the screen, or come to our website, wtnh.com, click on Connecticut Style. And I'll let you plate this up, Chef, really quickly. Can we top it on over there? Yes, can we, we can. It on? All right, everybody. Also, don't forget, if you want Chef Scott's recipe, it's also on our website. Not a problem. Heather, you're always fantastic. Thank you so much. Good to see Chef you. Chef Scott, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. And you got some hungry ladies and a guy who's going <laughs> to tell us all about our floors. We're talking about Neil's Wood Floors when Connecticut Style returns. So stick around, everybody.